chimpanzee lives, you know, in the wild, probably 15, 20 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. Their whole life they've been around these people. So they act completely normal. Those people are just like another tree. Mm -hmm. Just another thing that's not of consequence. It doesn't Squirrels. steal resources from them. It doesn't try to intimidate them. It doesn't infringe on their territory. Never gets closer than 20 yards. No worries. So because of that, they've got this insane footage. It's one of the most incredible documentary yeah. series of all time. And they study the social behavior between the chimpanzees. And I had the guy on who directed it. It was yeah. really fascinating. I'm like, how often do they eat monkeys? He's like, dude, we couldn't even show them all. <laughs> They're just eating monkeys just all day. Monkeys all That's time. their favorite thing just to do. And they just rip them apart. Yeah. And they didn't even know that until the 90s. Mm. When David Attenborough went to the, the jungle to film chimpanzees, mm. they caught them hunting monkeys and eating them alive. It's terrifying. It's crazy. It is terrifying. There's a monkey, and he's this chimp has it. Like a, his hand is around its waist, and it's just eating it from the hips down like this. <laughs> Monkey's and the monkey's alive. going, ah! Jesus! It's just got this little monkey face that looks so much like God. ours. It's so close to us. And this chimp's just chewing chunks. And so they have 20 Pulling years. a leg off and handed it to this other chimp, and he's chewing they it. They share? Oh, yeah, they share. They share. Well, it's a, that's a big part of this, this docuseries. Interesting. Is how they set up those social structures. Yeah, Their social structures are so similar to ours. It's like, we think that the biggest chimpanzees, like the alpha male, yeah. it's not. Some of them it's not. It's a smart nice. one who has made comrades mm. and made a community and, and is very fair. Chimpanzees have a very strong sense mm. of fairness and being slighted. Yeah. Like if one of the elders doesn't get a piece of the monkey, they get fucking furious. Like, what have you done? Like, you have to make right. Like, you have to, like, soothe people's or um, monkeys, chimpanzees' anger yeah. at yeah. Uh, being yeah. slighted. Dude, yeah. Well, I when I was a, I always remember this as a kid. I was watching a nature show, and they they had a I have they called the third beetle principle. There was the two male beetles were battling, mm. and the females watching. And while the two male beetles are battling, the third beetle comes and fucks the female. That's what happens with elk yeah. all the time. And it was just like you know, be a third beetle. Yeah, you know, they studied white-tailed deer as well. Same same thing happens. The big guys are fighting. When the big guys are fighting, the little sneaky ones like hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, ladies so like them. They're that smart. See, do you have any? See if you can find a photograph of that uh, Bondo ape. Yes, please. I need to again. See very controversial. The Car Carl Why is it Armand's, controversial though? If he has because the, like people don't want to believe it's this real. The same one, right? So that's one. Yeah, that one's a dead one. That they shot at an airport. Holy! Look at the size of it compared to those guys. <laughs> it's so much <laughs> bigger just than trying them. to get on a plane. <laughs> This is, um, you ever see that movie, The Congo? It's a stupid movie. Like, uh, it's, I, re I read the book. It was a, it was a cool book where that, like, the gorillas could those, like, talk. But those chimpanzees, the crazy chimpanzees, were based on these Bondo apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the idea. So yeah, look, at that, look at that picture up in the top right with the, the black and white one. Yeah. <sighs> well, see if the fi find the camera trap photo. Scroll down a little bit. It'll probably be one of the first photos that you see. There's a camera trap photograph of... Whoa. No, that's a different one. That's one that um, lived in America. If that I saw looked, that in the forest, I would kill myself. There's one, they, they called them humanzy, and they thought at one point in time that maybe somebody had fucked a, a chimpanzee. <laughs> um, these are all... That's it, that's it. Um, where it says World of Carl Amon on the top shelf. Top, yeah, right there. That's the camera trap photo. That's not the best version of it. I've yeah. seen more clear version, but he's walking around, Whoa. and they're enormous. These, yeah. these guys said they had a Land Rover, and they, they, they had a Defender, and they stopped, or whatever the truck was, they stopped the truck in the road as one walked by, and it was taller than the truck. Like, what? <laughs> what so the they're f huge. They're enormous. Some of them are, like I said, they're like six-foot tall chimpanzees. And... But and just imagine how strong a regular chimp is. So that is that's definitely that one up there. Click on that. That's uh, click on the gallery. So Carl Armand is this guy who uh, was this wildlife photographer that when they became aware of this subspecies, see see the photographs of the skull. Yeah. See, we'll see how that the, ridge. Right. So yeah. the one behind it is a regular chimpanzee skull, and then the the much larger one is the Bondo ape skull. They also <laughs> nest on the ground like gorillas. Yeah. They're like nobody's fucking with me. Yikes. They're fucking oh, wow. huge, man. Damn. And there's not a large population of them, and they're not. It's not very well studied because it's so remote. Mm -hmm. and it's a very time. fucking dangerous yeah. to get there. But you see those bones in the ground. Show that image again. Look at the size difference yeah. between the regular chimpanzee skull huge. in the background, and then the, the bondo ape in the foreground. And look at the crest on the head. Yeah, yeah nuts. Yeah. 
The, the so, locals have two names for uh, chimpanzees. They call them tree beaters and lion killers. Lion and, killers? Lion killers. Yeah. And the lion killers, first, first of all, there's no lions in the jungle. Right? No, the, like, lion's he, not king of the right. jungle. Well, there's no lions. The lions live in the savannah. That's right? So calling them lion killers is probably just a fun name. But they have found, they did, did video one that was eating a jaguar. Leopard. Or a leopard, rather. Yeah. A leopard. But they don't know if it found the leopard dead and ate it. They don't know what the fuck happened. Could have cornered it. Did it really, did they they really jack it. a leopard? I mean, maybe, it could, maybe it was a small leopard. Well, you got to think, if it's really six feet tall. So a regular chimpanzee gets to be like a full-grown male is probably like 180 pounds. Like a big, giant, jack chimpanzee. 180? 180 pounds. And the strength of a 500-pound man. Like so, you what well, you weigh probably close to it, yeah. right? You probably I'm weigh about one eighty. Yeah. yeah. So your weight, but the strength of a five hundred pound man. Now imagine. That'd be cool. Now imagine one that's not five feet tall, but six feet tall, and is not two hundred pounds, but three hundred pounds or three fifty. What? <laughs> Get that guy in the octagon. <laughs> Dude, fuck Go. that. There's, a regular chimpanzee would fuck a human up. But that photograph of those two men that's sitting there with one that they shot, yeah. that's one that they think is confirmed to be one of these Bondo apes. And it's so much bigger than them. Mm. But you have to think, like, okay, these guys, like, first of all, they're in the background. Just like when you catch a fish, you hold the fish out in front of you. Oh, it's too. a perspective this thing. This is an anaconda thing. Exactly. Come on. But the the guy does have his hand on his shoulder and just f I mean there's some things you can't fake like the size of his nuts. I was going to say the size of his nuts is the size of that guy's face. And look at the size of his hand. Yeah. His hand's massive. There's a massive chimpanzee. Grab onto some serious branches with that. Um, Google humanzi, because humanzi was a weird one. They had this these people had this chimpanzee and they they dressed it up like a person and it had <laughs> weird facial features where it looked like so similar to a person yeesh it's we it looks weird there's better images of it and there's video of this but i think dude along that. the way th that one right there to the left of that yeah right there where you're at's good too hey. so look at his face and i don't like that strange right strange features and he looks so like he could work at a bank very weird so it led people to think that his name is oliver that it led people to think that oliver was some sort of a hybrid but it doesn't seem like he is. It just seems just like he a just weird had chimpanzee. odd facial. But look, they put him in a fucking suit and tie and shit. <laughs> and they're fine. But he became sexually attracted to his care and preferred humans over chimps. The, the problem with those things is they're horny. Just like, uh, yeah. you know, and he doesn't even know there's other chimps because he doesn't get to see them. You know, so he's you look close enough. He's like, I'll fuck you, lady. Yeah. And like, she's taking care of him. He's like, take care of this. He's Yikes. he's a horny fucking terrifying. chimpanzee. I've heard that orangutans do that too. I'm sure. Yeah.